Hey there. So have you been debating about going to events? Well, there's events that I do. I am professional matchmaker Jacqueline with Discover Love Matches. And we in the Northwest have match events every couple weeks or so. But even if you're not local and there are events in your town and there's activities going on, do you keep questioning whether you should attend? Whether that's where your person's going to be or not? Or... Are you ready to put yourself together and get out there? So I want to talk to you a little bit about this. So by the end of the video, I'm going to inspire you to do some things you haven't been doing, or maybe you've been kind of doing, but not fully doing. So I want you to listen all the way through and then make sure at the end you send me some comments and questions as I am going to be giving you so many more tips in upcoming videos. And I want to know what do you want to learn about? Finding love is not easy. It's a lot of work. And it takes a lot to shift your perspective and change how you're going about things. So that is why I am on my mission. Yes, I am always out matching people. I was going to say I'm paid to hit on people when I'm at my own networking events and I'm meeting singles and people that are in relationships and want to tell their friends about us. But it really comes down to the fact that, yes, I am gifted at connecting people, but you got to show up for the the goods. So let's talk about this. Let's really think about what it means to show up and attend an event. I love doing events for my clients because it's actually a great way for me to meet a whole bunch of people all at once and see them living and loving life. When one of my clients wants to know about a potential match, I always am more excited to tell people about somebody I heard laugh, somebody I heard giggle with somebody else, somebody that I saw kind and compassionate, somebody I gave a hug to, somebody that had a great story. So it's not just about people that come in and have one-on-one -on -one consultations. I like to see you in life. I like to see you flirting. I like to see you nervous and see how you conquered it. I like to see that you showed up. It's really easy to put a profile on any kind of site out there, but it's different when you actually attend your own freaking life. This is your life. This is your story. This is your journey. This is your choice. If you want your happiness and you want to meet somebody and you want to radiate awesomeness and joy and exuberance, you got to show up. The screen can only do so much. I'm just saying, yes, I'm here on video. Most profiles don't have a video, but you're only seeing me on this dimension. When you and I get together and we laugh and we giggle and we have a good time, I start popping matching ideas. So we have a variety of events ourselves, which I bet you in your town there's events going on that are similar. Like when we do a happy hour midweek, that's just a chance for a small group of us to get around the table, ask some questions, I don't know, kind of like inspire one another because it's cozy, it's after work, you're not fully dressed up for a night on the town, so it's not as overwhelming, and it's a great introductory way to get to know our group. And building a connection starts with one person at a time. Now, our mingles are something that I do on a Friday night from, say, 6 to 8. And if you're a member, you get to come to our pre-mingle. And what's really exciting about the mingles is I'm just getting your evening going. This is when you do dress up for a Friday night. At 8 o'clock, I'm going to say, bye-bye, mom's leaving, I'm gone, because I want you to continue. And one of the great things about showing up to a mingle is that you know somebody is going to notice you look good tonight, and then you get to decide. Maybe you click with somebody in our group. Maybe you click with somebody at the location. You know, so many times people start playing pool or listening to music with somebody else there. The goal of a mingle is to get you out and meeting new people. Of course, I want to hit all the home runs, but we never know who's going to actually show up. And that's why I always kind of laugh when somebody sends me a message and say, are there going to be people in this age range? Is there anybody for me? Well, I can tell you that we do a full age range. We have members from mid-20s until, gosh, mid-80s. So we do not limit. And I believe in matching people on a lifestyle. Plus, I know 
that people are more apt to uh, be interested in you if you show up too, because then you're real, you're somebody genuine, and they're able to see you beyond the profile, and they're, they're able to know you for just being in the room, and you're not feeling like you're totally being hit on at that moment, other than getting to know one another and everybody else in the room. Plus, we have tons of last minute signups, and often I'm at the event going, oh, I just wish this other person would show up because they would have really enjoyed meeting this person who did show up, but I focus really on the people who are actually there because those that show up get loved up. And then we also do socials. These are our bigger events. These are once a quarter, and when you attend our big socials, we take over a location, often a restaurant, some spot that we just are able to take a big space. I have extra activities going on. We have fun, yummy appetizers to start the night. And there's either music or entertainment or photography. There's always something up my sleeve because it's all about making a juicy environment. Plus, these are the nights that are like 7 to 10. And these are the evenings where you want to dress up a little nicer, make sure you have a nice shave. You have a little more to your outfit because I'll tell you that people might not remember your name, but they'll remember what you wore. I get that comment a lot. Like, hey, who's the guy in the suit? Who was the lady in the red dress? So you want to be unforgettable. So in our group at Discover Love Matches, you have three types of events to attend at various dates in our calendar. I try to keep the calendar well in advance so you can always know what's going on. But I also really want to say when it comes to attending events, show up regularly. I know we all want to show up one time and go, woohoo, I found my person, I am good, life is perfect. But the reality is that happens one to two percent of the time. That's just what it is. It's the law of numbers and law of life. What we want to do is encourage you to build a relationship and community with us. Just like I attend the same networking events, I do it because I know the core people that will be there and I know there'll always be new people and I know the format. I know the routine. I know how this leader of that networking event will host her or his events. So that's the same thing. Once you come a couple times to my events, you know our routine. You know how we do this. You know the flow. You know that half the people are regulars and half the people are new. So we're always going to have somebody different. We're always going to have somebody that you've seen before is what I've noticed in my eight plus years of doing matchmaking and social events. And the reason I bring this up is that people so often, because I, they, they get nervous. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It took you so much oomph to show up. It was so hard to get yourself together and show up to a place by yourself with a whole bunch of strangers. But you know, that first painful time showing up, it's over with once you did it once. So you're good. You're good. I've had people sit at the bar and just keep turning their chair, looking to see if there's anyone for them. Well, I can tell you there's nothing attractive about that. Nobody ever wants to meet the person who won't even talk to somebody unless they're what they want. The reality is, is we've had so many matches when somebody strikes up a conversation and they say, oh, you need to meet my best friend. You need to meet my dad. You need to meet my son. You need to meet my ex that is such a good friend of mine that would be perfect for you. We've had so many matches and friendships bloom because of an introduction of an introduction of an introduction. So the difference is, is that we're looking for a human relationship. We're not looking for an online relationship. So you have to behave like somebody who wants to be in public with other people. I know it's hard, I know it's tricky, and hence another reason why it's good to be a member, so you can come to pre-mingles and join the warm-up group. But the nice thing is knowing that we all have your back. Everybody there is nervous and worried at some stage of their dating journey. They're there to support you too. This is our community. This is for you. I've invented this all to support you. So even if you're not in the Northwest and can attend Discover Love Matches events, look at the events in your area. There are so many activities in every city that has something going on. And just remember, go once, go twice, go three times, it'll get easier every time. 
find that person you recognize from the last time, say hello, get your nerves out, connect, because you know what? They're probably hoping to find someone they recognize too. So this is a mutual team effort. Let's get each other's back. It's hard enough being single and saying, yo, I'm single, would you hit on me? Would you check me out? Would you notice me, please? I'm here, honest. Oh, I'm going to vomit because I'm so scared. I mean, the truth is that's how a lot of people are feeling. So you're not alone, but we are here to support you. We're here to be consistent. We are what you can count on. So I want to know we can count on you to show up. When you're part of our agency, you also can add your profile. Go to discoverlovematches.com, click start profile, and we will have you in our system. If you haven't attended yet, we'll keep it on file. Once we meet you and get to know who you are, we'll activate it and let our members know about you. Because truthfully, a main reason I'm doing events is so that I can tell my private clients about our amazing members. And the lucky part is when you show up, you get on my radar and you get a chance to meet everybody in the room. All these people are so wanting to meet you. Let them meet you. Let them see you shine. Be the person that makes it bigger and better. I always say that when you walk in the room, you decide how it goes. Do you walk in slumpy, shy, pulled away, no eye contact? Or do you walk in with your shoulders back, eye contact with a big smile, even if you're nervous, and just say, hi, my name is. Introduce yourself. Get the cycle started. It's not easy for anybody but when you actually show up, show up. Think about what you bring to the group. When people come in and they're like, oh, there was nobody for me, I didn't find my age group, I didn't find this, I didn't find that, it's because all they're doing is saying, what's in it for me, all me, me. Well, nobody wants to date that. But if you walk in and say, hey, how can I contribute? Can I be the person that laughs a lot? Can I be the hug person? Can I be a greeter? Can I be somebody who notices the people coming in? What is it that you can be? Sometimes you're the funny storyteller. Whatever it is, think of how you're contributing, then people want to know more about you. I notice that a lot of times, like our mingles and socials, when people are kind of at different groups and different like tables, high top tables or picnic tables. There's the person who walks in and says, hey, how are you? I'd like to get to know you and invites people in to the conversation when anyone's kind of slowly walking, they invite those people in. Those are the people that get the most dates because more people are learning about them and they know that the person walking by nervous is now feeling welcomed. So their heart's growing. They're emotional confidence is growing. So this is all up to you. You get to choose. There are options everywhere. And I am not a big online dating person, as you guys all know. Obviously, my site's different because I actually know my people. So this is just how I organize. I mean, seriously, my office used to be filled with white notebooks. So this allows us to have more access to you guys that are active members. But really, it's about making yourself real building your confidence, getting yourself looking slamming, like go out, take the time, do the hair, shave, you know, get a new outfit on, feel great, walk in and say hi. You know, if you need a little cocktail, I get it, but try not to have more than one or two because you don't want to get to that sloppy level. That's nothing sexy about that. But do what you need to do. Take a walk. I have clients that will actually deliberately park five blocks away so they can kind of walk off some of the nerves when they come in. You know, hone in on me. Say hi when you get there and then start moving around the room. Be memorable. Wear some jewelry that kind of pops. It gets a conversation started. Be the person other people are drawn to meet. You don't have to be the class clown. You don't need to be dancing on the tables. You just need to stop and make eye contact, tap somebody on the shoulder and say hello, compliment them on what they're wearing. Everybody wants to know they did it right. They picked the right outfit. They got the right eyeshadow on. You know, we all just are fumbling in this crazy world. So show up to events ready to shine and know that whatever event we host, we just put everything into because we love you and we want you to find your person. We've found so many great matches because of our events and it might not happen that night, but keep showing up, keep being there, being consistent. You will see the rewards, not to mention you're going to meet the coolest people. So make sure that you like our videos and you comment, ask questions and subscribe so you can know because I'm going to be sending out lots more videos to you because this is where you get to make 
the turning point change in your dreams and your desires. I'm excited to support you every step of the way. I believe in you. I dream for your matches. As I wake up at 3 a.m. thinking of who I can match next. So my commitment's there. What is your commitment to finding your love match? I'll see you at our next event. Or if you're not in the area, tell me about the latest event you attended.